have Kingsman the Golden Circle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still haven't seen it. Yeah, no, I'm you're not missing anything. I, I just can't. okay. That's why I haven't seen it. Everybody told me it was just so yeah. And I'm like, really? I was excited about this at one point in my life. And I just I feel nothing towards it. Hmm. Nor should you. <laughs> and uh Home Again is the other movie, and uh, I think it's the Reese Witherspoon movie. Yeah, movie. she she moves into like an apartment, and three dudes move in with her because they're oh, her stage right. of her life, and it's kind of like uh, I didn't see that one either. And and much like Kingsman Golden Circle, I don't feel moved to mm. no, go to seek it out. out. No, uh, Detroit. Detroit is now out. On, it seemed to take a while for this movie to come out on DVD. It did. It came out. It came out a while ago this year. Yeah, and and I know you and I didn't see it, but we had a guest. That no, was I saw on. it. Yo, you saw it. Yeah, you yeah. It. I, I did like it. It was, uh, it was a really stark portrayal of the incident, and also just to see, um, you know, the racist. So the racism was just so in your face. It was it was a well put together film, mm-hmm. and it 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 achieved its goal based on an actual event. Yes, yeah, it it definitely achieved its goal of showing you how horrifying the whole thing is. But what I really liked about it is it didn't just drop you into the incident at the Algiers Hotel. It set up what led to it, like mm-hmm. the rioting and the political climate at the time, and even like the um, black politicians in that area saying, look, stop burning down. These are our neighborhoods. Just stop. And uh, just so you could get a sense of the climate that was going on that led to this incident. So it made a lot more sense. Like it didn't, uh, the movie incident didn't appear in a vacuum. Right. You're like, okay, this makes perfect sense because you've set up uh, everything that's going on at this period in time. So I thought it was a well put together film. Yeah, Catherine Bigelow, I thought it was a great choice to direct it too. Yes. I mean, you talk about like baseball players that are five tool baseball players. She's got a mm-hmm. lot of elements that she can incorporate. I mean, you look at what she's done with stuff like Zero Dark Thirty, right? Or the Hurt Lock. Like these are really gritty, authentic feeling portrayals. And then John Boyega showing his range in there. Yes. Yeah. Well, thing, uh, and it felt like that. It felt like a uh, a war movie. Mm-hmm. It oh, did. Uh, yeah, Catherine mm-hmm. Bigelow doesn't get a nomination for the Golden Globes for Detroit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, there's another. The movie just kind of came out at the beginning of August. They didn't and then know, I, I don't yeah. know if they didn't have enough about money it. about behind the marketing of it or what, but it should have. Fa- it I came felt, and went. The movie yeah. theaters. It didn't last very long. Like, I'm amazed it didn't. Like, I'm amazed they're not even re-releasing it now to just kind of get. It seems like it's, and I don't know which studio released it, but it's like there's studios a small will release a handful of much. movies, yeah, and they see which one pops the most with critics. Right when it comes out, and then it's like, okay, well, we're putting our money behind these horses, and Detroit, yeah. for whatever reason, just kind of got got left off. Well, That's you know so that weird. that did happen to Moonlight too. Moonlight came and went, right? And right. Uh, when it first came out, no one cared, right? And then when it started getting nominated, then it got like re-released, mm-hmm. and like a lot of people then kind of discovered. I remember buying a ticket for it. The people in front of me went, "Is this movie was this movie out already?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it was months ago, but no one came to see it." And then uh, <laughs> and now we're, it's being re-released. Yeah. So so it's possible. If Detroit does get nominations, it'll you know it'll get a little more uh, the credit that it I, th- I think it deserves. Mm-hmm. 